In cancer care, we're really uh, undergoing a revolution in how we're managing patients, and and that's related to the the astronomical advances in genomic technology that's occurred over the last decade and continues to occur on a you know a very fast time pace. Uh, it wasn't long ago before. Uh, the whole world had to work together to sequence one genome. This was a human genome project and it took uh, over 10 years and billions of dollars. Now that, that can be done in a very short time frame in one machine, in one lab. And because of that huge uh, advance in technology, we now uh, are able to understand uh, the individual characteristics of different cancers. And uh, this has led to an era of precision medicine where we're, uh, where we're using that information to direct our therapy. And I think uh, it's a very exciting time that in the next several years, as this continues to advance, we'll really understand better how these cancers initially developed uh, and hopefully be able to use that information to intervene sooner to prevent these cancers from developing and also to have better screening tests to pick these cancers up very quickly. I think philanthropy is extremely important in cancer research and uh, we've been extremely fortunate in British Columbia uh, to have uh, such a, an active and engaged group of donors and, and a, an excellent foundation here at the BC Cancer Agency Foundation. I work mostly in, in pancreatic cancer and uh, really prior to, to uh, several years ago there was very little pancreatic cancer research going on uh, within British Columbia and, and really uh, based on a spark started by a group of very engaged donors. Uh, we started the Pancreas Center and we've become one of the national uh, leading centers uh, of pancreatic cancer research and so I think you, the, the impact of philanthropy can't be underestimated and is really critical uh, in, in cancer research. Uh, the Cyprus Challenge is really an amazing event uh, for several reasons. I think most importantly is the, is the mood and hope that the Cyprus Challenge creates. Pancreatic cancer uh, for many years and, and still is often associated with sadness, fear, lack of hope and really uh, very little positive. Uh, and this event is, is the opposite of that. This event is, is filled with hope, positivity, uh, teamwork, uh, support. I think, you know, having uh, seen patients and their families uh, that go through very difficult times, knowing about the Cyprus Challenge, being able to participate in it has been extremely important and, uh, and a really amazing event and, and an important event for them to be part of. The other aspect of Cyprus Challenge is the fundraising and it's gone to support uh, our PanGen project which is really about uh, precision medicine and individualized treatment in pancreatic cancer. This is a, a very exciting and cutting edge project that we're leading the world nationally and internationally uh, in terms of this, uh, of this type of research. And uh, there's patients that are going through it now and it is impacting their treatments now. And it's also helping us understand more about this cancer and, and how we can design better drugs uh, to treat this cancer. So I think because of all those reasons, uh, from our perspective, the Cyprus Challenge is a really important uh, and amazing uh, event and uh, hopefully it continues on for a long time.